Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video I want to discuss saving your projects um, within Roblox Studio. So there are a few things to consider when trying to effectively save your project or um, an experience or a game. Um, there are multiple places to save it and that's something that we're going to talk about today. So first and foremost when you're creating your game um, you're going to want to, as a, a foundation or as a basis, um, you're going to want to save your game to your computer. So you want to make sure that there is uh, a file with your saved data on your computer so that in case something happens, at least you can pull it up from that file. So you want to start off by saving it to your computer and so the way you do that any kind of saving you go up to the top left corner here and you select file and you'll notice all of the magic that we're going to discuss today is essentially right here on the top we have saving to the file okay and in my case you know I go to save my game save to file as um, I have it named Workshop and its location is my desktop, so I will find the file on my desktop. When I start the computer, I can see it right there on kind of the home screen of the computer, right? You can save it to other places, right? Um, you can save it to um, files, documents, you can save it to many different places on your computer. But I have chosen to save it on my desktop because it's easy to click on it, easy to see it, and I can continue working in a GIF, right? So I'll go ahead and replace it because, you know, it's the same thing. So I saved it to my computer, but it is not saved to Roblox. I have not yet saved it to Roblox. And when I go to save it to Roblox, that's when I save it to the actual Roblox Studio. So when you log in and you see your creations, you will see this game show up when you when you save it to Roblox, right? Um, so the difference between saving it to a file is you're saving it to your computer, your personal computer, your device for ease of access. And then when you want to take the next step when you're trying to um, upload assets or images, um, audio, things like that, and you want to make sure it's available within Roblox, you save it to Roblox. But that does not mean that your game is live and published and ready to go. It just means that within the Roblox Studio uh, database, your game is there, so even if you lost your computer, you can still log in with a different one, and you can come and open that uh, Roblox file uh, from Roblox and continue working on your project. So again, the difference between a file, saving it to the file, is your personal computer. Saving it to Roblox, you're saving it to Roblox's database or their computers. And the third step here is publishing it to Roblox. So when you want to publish your game, okay, um, that's when you update the, any live servers or any live versions of your game that, that you or the public can access. So, for example, when uh, one of your favorite games uh, that you play, um, when they shut down and there's an update, it's because the developer published their latest uh, work to Roblox. And sometimes that shuts down the server. So I'll go over it again just so that we can kind of uh, recap. Saving it to file is to your computer, which is really, really important. And it helps you launch your project quickly from your wherever it is you store it on your computer. Saving it to Roblox is a little bit, uh, can be more secure because it's on Roblox database. But I highly recommend you save it to both regularly. So it's uh, more secure. And the, the third um, option here, when you're when you feel like the updates or the game is is uh, ready to to receive an update, you publish it. Or if you're gonna um, launch it for the first time, this is what you do: you publish it, and that launches the game and 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 puts it uh, so that people can discover it. So one more thing I wanted to briefly discuss before uh, I close this video is if we go to Studio Settings and we go to Auto Recovery, this essentially is auto-saving, and you can set how often um, Roblox Studio will auto-save uh, your project. Uh, right now I have it set to 100 minutes, 
every 100 minutes it will auto save uh, but I currently have it disabled because I, I save pretty often here but I recommend um, if you if you don't save often um, or if, if your computer is prone to crashing um, enable this um, so that you can you can recover any progress that you might have lost so um, that will save uh, an auto recovery file to to Roblox it won't really mess with your computer file so um, whatever you want on your computer make sure you save it to your computer and I have a, a quick uh, button here I can easily save it over and over again you can see it says saved and it just in an instant um, you can do it every every few minutes you can do it every hour just remember to do it um, or uh, enable that auto uh, save auto recovery option there um, again uh, let's go ahead and just give you a uh, um, a shortcut here. Uh, if you want to um, use the key command to save uh, to your file, just do Command S, um, and that will save it. You can customize that too. So I just wanted to uh, give you guys a, a brief overview of saving your project to ensure that it's safe, to ensure that it's in multiple places on your computer, it's on Roblox database. And when you're ready to cr to publish those updates or publish your game for the first time, you know what to do. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, feel free to comment, feel free to like, feel free to share, whatever you want to share, and I wish you the best of luck in your um, developing endeavors. Have a good one.